The web series titled Seventh Sense is being produced by Gorang Doshi Productions and with us are the members of the cast and crew. Rohit, you have spent nearly two decades in the industry. Can you put together your journey in a few lines for us? Well, you know, it's been an eventful journey to say the least. This uh, love is very used to be outsider. Me and my brother both are outsiders and how. We have never played the outsider card at all. We've got enough opportunities, uh, whatever we got, uh, we tried to make the most of it. We failed sometimes, we succeeded sometimes, but it is not because we were outsiders that we failed. Uh, it is because we were made maybe not good enough at that time. Uh, experience also teaches you that um, your success and your failures are defined only by yourself. There can be factors which um, can motivate you, which can also thwart you, but in the end, uh, all this is uh, purely circumstantial. You have also directed a film. Tell me, how was it directing two legends of the industry, Shabana Ji and Nasir Ji? So, uh, you know, so to, to set the record right, I wasn't told to direct uh, Nasir and Shabana. I chose Nasir and Shabana. When uh, Rice Plate's story, uh, in fact, it was just an idea that Sanjay Gupta Sahib had given me. And I really worked on the script with my co-writers and we actually came up with a 15-minute script. And uh, when he asked me, who do you want in these roles? My first answer was Shavana Azmi and Nasiruddin Shah. And Sanjay Gupta looked at me and said, what do you mean? What do you understand? I've been 20 years old for the director. I haven't done any work with them. You have to do the first picture. I said, yes, I'll do it. But he was supportive enough uh, to take me to both those people. And after I, you know, honestly, when I was directing the two of them, I didn't think that I was directing Shabana Azmi and Nasiruddin Shah, which Shabana Ji will tell you. Uh, because in many interviews, I was very nervous in the first day. And she used to say, she was talking about a girl. She was talking about a girl. She was not very nervous. She had all the answers to her questions. And which is a fact. I had done my homework so well that uh, when you work, you know, people say that how much pressure will be. There is no pressure. The pressure is when you do a lot of work with a pressure. Hota hai jab aap, uh, and finally, you're back to work with Seven Sense. How does that feel? Uh, well, Seven Sense, very grateful, firstly. Very, very relieved to uh, come here and start shooting for the Seven Sense. It's an exciting uh, thriller. It's got a great ensemble cast. It's got lovely actors, all kinds of actors. And we have a fantastic director, captain of the ship in Karan. When you meet him, you will come to know how clear he is of what he wants from his actors and from what his subject is. And such a layered subject, it's very difficult to execute. And now he's been given the world. He has Dubai. He has every possible equipment that Hollywood has. He has the locations, he has the actors. Now it's all in his hands. And I feel that he's going to give us a fantastic product very soon. So yes, very, very happy to be here for the Seven Cents. Dibendu, tell us a little bit about your journey and tell us a little bit about your journey and tell us a little bit about your journey. It's a huge journey because I've been working uh, in the film industry for the last two decades. Uh, I uh, came here in Bombay uh, in 2000 uh, and my first film was Monsoon Wedding. If you see my filmography, then uh, I started doing acting, uh, started doing theatre in 1988. And, uh, uh, after that, look, I got uh, award uh, state level uh, on theater acting and then I joined National School of Drama and then after National School of Drama, then I joined National School of Drama Repertory Company. Then uh, my first film was, when I left Repertory Company, my first film was Monsoon Wedding and then, you know, uh, you know when, when you are a, a, a traveler in, 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 in your life, then you don't look back, you know. You don't look back, but when you think in retrospect, you can understand that, oh, it was a huge journey. So I have done a lot of significant movies in my life, uh, like Black Friday, Dev D, Hazaro Khwaisha, Aisi Hai, Ab Tak Chappan, Makbool. Well, a lot of your work is now so popular on all streaming platforms. That must feel great, right? It is all OTT, uh, because uh, because in the pandemic situation, in, in, in this situation, in the coronavirus situation, there are social distancing and people are like, you know, people are scared of uh, meeting people. So there is no, uh, there is no cinema hall, there is no theater, there is no scene, there is no serials because shootings are not there. If you go to India, if you see that there are, people are repeating the shows, you know, okay. Uh, so it is, everybody is hooked on to, uh, 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 
OTT platform. That OTT platform is a content-driven industry, and you need you need actors to pull off those contents. So things are things are good. So it's a huge journey actually. And is there any particular role that you wished you had done? Yes, yes, I am actually looking forward. I always tell people that uh, the, my best role is the next role that I'm going to do. Because you know, okay, actors, we are, I, I am an actor, and I don't, I'm not satisfied with like you know what I am uh, doing, whatever. Because I don't, I don't watch my work. Uh, I, when I work, it is, it is there in the public domain, you know, and, and I, I, I forget that work. Uh, so it is, uh, it is the next, it is the next role I'm looking for. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for uh, talking to me. Sajad, I'm sure you feel very, very fortunate coming this far in your journey. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, f um, when I look back at the journey, it's, it's, it's crazy, but because I'm part of the journey, so I guess I got used to it. So it's we are just uh, being part of it day by day, so it's become normal. But when I look back of it, it's crazy because I was a kid growing up in a Indian community and just loved Bollywood film, but uh, I never knew that I want to become an actor. Uh, I wasn't sharing, but I was working so hard for it. Matlab, some days, uh, 10 hours, I was just sending emails, uh, profiles, uh, you know, showreels to the production houses, casting director, but at the end it worked. I don't even know how it would have felt being in a film, auditioning in a film that had Salman Khan in it. What what was it like? Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's crazy because uh, beginning to mujhe pata hi nahi tha. I mean, uh, what I'm, I'm auditioning for. When I knew it, it became very crazy because you know, I mean, you're with Salman Bhai. It's one of the biggest uh, movie uh, of Indian history, and then the uh, amazing director and uh, uh, Adiji, you know, and Yash Raj. I, I mean, it, it was it was all came together, I guess, because seven years of failing, 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 and suddenly all came together to work. And uh, I guess it's a patient. It's a game of the being so patient. That's that's why. That's why I call it. Okay, now tell us a little bit about your role in Seven Sense. It's very um, interesting um, crime thriller, as we can put, put it, and uh, I'm playing the the role of uh, uh, bodyguard, so uh, who's just uh, just part of the story, and that you have to watch to know. Super, super. Thank you so much, Sajad. Thank you. Thank you.